Welcome to the Diocese of New Jersey's online convention. This is a new way of doing things for all of us, but we've made this video to help explain what to expect and how to do some of the things you need to do. For most of the day, you'll be doing exactly what you're doing now, watching and listening. Maybe sometimes a bit of praying and worshiping. There are times, though, when you'll need to be a more active participant. So in this short video, we'll show you some information about getting help, being recognized and speaking from the convention floor, submitting amendments, and voting. Much of this information has already been emailed to you, and you should keep that email handy during the day. But I'm hoping you'll find it all more memorable hearing it from me. If you encounter difficulties during the meeting, you can reach out to organizers in a couple of ways. Send an email to info at dioceseofnj.org, or send a chat message here in Zoom to me or to one of the other meeting hosts. Note that chat is disabled for anything other than messaging the hosts. Please be as specific as you can about the nature of your trouble and anything you think might be causing it. Just like in a face-to-face -face convention, there will be opportunities for delegates to address the convention. But also just like at a face-to-face -face convention, these must be tightly controlled to avoid chaos. Let's look at the process we'll follow. If you wish to be recognized by the chair, you will raise your hand, metaphorically speaking. There are two different ways to do that, depending on what version of Zoom you're using. If you're on an older version of Zoom, you'll click the Participants button at the bottom of your screen. This will bring up a Participants window, listing everyone currently in the meeting. At the bottom of that screen, you'll see a button labeled Raise Hand. Click it, and a little hand icon will be displayed next to your name. Now, if you have a newer version of Zoom, updated in the past couple of weeks, it's actually a lot simpler. You just go down to this Reactions button, click that, and then the last thing on the bottom there is Raise Hand. Click that to do the same thing. Names are listed in the order in which hands were raised, so we always know who is next in the queue. Now, when you entered the meeting, your microphone was muted and your camera turned off. That's necessary in a meeting this size. So when you're recognized by the chair, you'll be called on by name. At the same time, you'll receive two notifications telling you the host is asking you to unmute and that the host is asking you to start video. Click the appropriate buttons on your screen so we can see and hear you. As in other conventions, you'll have a maximum of three minutes to speak. At the end of three minutes, you will be muted again. By the way, we'll use that same method of raising hands when the bishop calls for motions and seconds from the floor. When resolutions are being considered, you have the option to submit amendments to be considered. In a face-to-face -face convention, you would have filled out a paper amendment slip with the exact nature of your amendment. We'll do something similar in our online convention. Simply email your proposed amendment to info at dioceseofnj.org. We'll have a full presentation on the voting process, but there are just a couple of technical things we need you to know to make things go smoothly. For some folks, it may be a little bit confusing, but I promise you it's actually pretty simple. If you're using the same device for viewing the Zoom meeting as what you're using to vote on the voting company's website, you'll need to know how to switch back and forth without actually leaving Zoom. Most likely, the Zoom meeting is in full screen mode on your computer right now meaning that the zoom is taking up your entire monitor. Before you can switch to your web browser or your email, you need to come out of full screen mode. There are a couple of ways to do that. You can hit the escape key on your computer's keyboard. You can use your mouse to double click on your zoom screen, or you can click the exit full screen command in the upper right of your zoom window. You should be aware though, uh, that the command will not appear if the meeting is currently doing a screen share of a presentation. The other methods will always work. Once you're no longer in full screen mode, you'll have access to your computer's icons for other programs. On most computers, that will appear at the bottom of your screen, though you may sometimes see it at the top of your screen or even at the side. It'll look similar, but not the same to what you're seeing right here on my screen. You were emailed your voting credentials. The easiest way to get into the voting website is to open that email on your computer. Use the program icons on your screen to access your email. Once you switch out of Zoom, you'll still be able to hear the meeting. You haven't left, you've just switched to another program. Once you have the email open, you can essentially ignore the first part with your elector ID and password and go straight to your unique voter link. 
Clicking this link automatically logs you in on the elections website and presents you with the votes that are currently available to you. On the website, submit your vote and then you're ready to come back to Zoom. To do that, click the Zoom icon in your toolbar. Your icon should look a lot like this, a white video camera in a blue background. We're only using the voting site for more complicated votes, ones for which there are multiple options or we need to record percentages of clergy and lay votes. On simpler votes, the ones we usually do by voice acclamation, will stay right here in Zoom. When the bishop calls the question, a poll will automatically pop up on your Zoom screen. We'll give you a short time to click your choice and submit it using your computer's mouse or your device touch screen. We will announce when voting is ending and then results will immediately display on your screen. Click the red button to close that screen so you don't have to see it anymore. So those are the highlights, the most important things you need to know to help you participate in the online convention. We're all new to this, and it's to be expected that we'll have a few glitches along the way. Please be patient, and please reach out if you need help through chat or through email. Thank you for being here, and thank you for your service today and every day.